Having a sign that slows down traffic is great, but what about maintenance, data collection, 85th percentiles, and how much does a sign actually slow down traffic? VCOM VMS has always been the innovation leader when it came down to answering these questions. The VCOM VMS was designed to accommodate organizations of all sizes. If one organization had 50 signs and one person trained to program them, it would be a tedious and virtually impossible task to maintain them if they had to visit each sign one by one and program it on the spot using a direct data link like Wi-Fi, serial, or an internal keypad. Knowing that this would not be possible for many organizations, Fortel made it easy to deploy the science programming using an SD card. The SD card programming feature was designed so you could have one engineer at the TOC who's trained to program the sign and then delegate the deployment of the science programming to the maintenance crew. Using an SD card, no extra training is required to deploy the science programming, only a screwdriver and possibly a ladder. This alleviates the engineer's schedule quite a bit. The SD card also makes data collection very easy. The sign records all the vehicle counts onto the SD card. Then, with the vSpeed VMS software, you can convert it to a text format or into an Excel spreadsheet to create graphs and perform other calculations. To answer the question, how much does the sign actually slow down traffic? VCOM VMS has a very unique way of gathering data to allow you to answer this question definitively. A radar detects many speeds for each vehicle traveling through a zone. Typical data collection devices record the fastest speed for each vehicle. VCOM, unlike other data collection devices, not only records this peak speed, but also records the slowest speed for each vehicle along with its own timestamp. With this information, you're able to calculate whether a vehicle accelerated, decelerated, or didn't change speed as they traveled through the zone. This method of data collection allows the effectiveness of the sign to actually be proven. These are great features that Fortel Traffic Inc. has brought to the traffic industry through the VCOM VMS product line. They answer many of the questions and problems that cities and contractors run into when gathering data, collecting percentiles, maintaining signs, and producing effectiveness reports. You might be thinking, what more could you ask for from a radar sign? Yet Fortel Traffic Inc. has still found a way to take things a step further. What about the time it takes for the maintenance people to travel to each sign, pull out the SD cards, and deliver them to the designated sign programmer? Fortel's initial approach was to offer an IP modem, so you could connect to each sign individually through an internet connection. But poor network reception, slow download speeds, and other issues still made downloading data from multiple signs a tedious process. Also, Doing in-depth statistical analysis and graphing of data required one to be an Excel expert. Most users ignored the ability to compare peak and low speed dates and times to see how many vehicles actually slowed down. And nobody with signs and zones where the speed limit changes during the day separated the data by speed limit. Such a thing would be incredibly time consuming. Even programming the VCOM VMS sign is a challenging task if you have not received the proper training because the software itself is so powerful that it takes some effort to understand. Fortel is proud to announce their solution of all of these concerns with the new vSpeed Online software. If your sign is equipped with a modem, no more spending hours connecting to each sign individually to download data and update programming. The vSpeed Online software will collect the data from all of your signs every day. So that the next time you log in, all of your statistical data, programming, and other options are already up to date and waiting for you. Statistical analysis with the vSpeed Online software has greatly improved. When loading a new data file, the software compares every single vehicle count individually to detect if the vehicle accelerated, decelerated, or didn't change speed. It also detects what the speed limit was at the time the vehicle traveled through the zone by comparing the date and time to your time of day settings. Each sign's data is stored separately so that your stats are easily managed. When looking at the data within vSpeed Online, you have a choice of three different data types. First, the raw data showing the acceleration or deceleration and speed limit calculations. Then, a general statistical overview showing the peak and low speed 85th and 95th percentiles, and an incremental analysis which shows the number and percentage of vehicles that slowed down within each 10 mile per hour increment exceeding the speed limit. The overview also lists the fastest vehicles with the dates and times they traveled through the zone, so that the times with excessive speeding can be easily identified for law enforcement purposes. The final data type is the vehicle count histogram chart, which shows the volume of low speeds in green and the volume of peak speeds in red for each speed traveled, allowing you to visually see the 85th percentiles and the vehicle pace. With each of these data types, you can also select the date range that you want to view. 
Programming the VCOM with vSpeed Online has become incredibly easy. The time of day configuration screen shows a 24 hour timeline populated with the settings of your sign, allowing you to visually see how each setting overlaps. This screen also has a built in simulator, so you can see at each time of day what the VCOM will display for each speed that a vehicle travels. No more comparing your pre-programmed messages to the mode chart or using the time consuming trial and error method. If you're new to VCOM and not sure how you want your sign to behave or what options are even possible, you can use the easy setup feature, which asks you a series of simple questions and automatically populates the configuration settings based on your responses. Then you can use the standard configuration screen to simulate exactly how your sign will behave. These are just a few of the amazing features that the vSpeed Online software has to offer. Some other options include cross-platform support. Now you can program VCOM not only using Windows, but using Mac OS X, Linux, and some features are even available on web-enabled cellular telephones. Remote access, allowing you to access your sign's statistics and configurations from any computer anywhere in the world using an internet connection. Mapping, place your signs on the integrated Google Map API so you can visually select a sign by its location and configure or view its statistics. For signs with modems, there are automatic status updates, including onboard time clock update and accuracy check, pixel status check to see if your sign has any pixel failures or outages, sign firmware revision check and update, power failures and warnings report, and auto alerts, allowing you to set up notifications if vehicles exceed certain speeds. vSpeed Online is a groundbreaking piece of software that will further revolutionize the traffic industry with Fortel's VCOM product line.